travels with Lucky here. We're going on up into the Tobacco Root Mountains. And this spring, there was a forest fire in this area. So we're going to go check it out. Along the way, of course, we saw some cool antelope and some other things. So all in all, it was a pretty exciting adventure. So we went about, well, five miles to get to the place and another 10 miles up into the mountain. So here you can see what it looks like after a burn. There's a lot of uh, dead trees and brush uh, along the way. And then you can see on the hillsides too, all that kind of charred, darker area. We're not sure when this burn took place, uh, but it was, there's a bunch of little sticks there you can see. And it's kind of interesting because um, I thought that the whole area would be a lot more burnt but it didn't seem to have any effect on the sagebrush but there you can see the air up on the hillside those trees got scorched on the lower half they haven't completely turned dark yet you know they haven't completely died but i imagine eventually they probably will It was a pretty cool drive anyway, and I thought, uh, now this was pretty exciting here. Look closely. See that mule deer? Staring right at, there's two of them actually. It was hard to get a good picture because we were moving along on up the hill. It's pretty rocky up in this area. But we kept on going up because, well, we hadn't gone real far up this road before. It is hunting season, and this actually was filmed September 24th, so it's limited hunting. And this is bear country and cougar country. If you notice on this trip as we're going up, well, there, look at that road. It's pretty bad. But it's pretty pretty rocky and pretty wild once we get up here a little bit further. And actually, in this area is where the mountain man uh, can often be seen a little bit further back in as we go up a little bit further. You can kind of see that this definitely is uh, cat country and... They do slip down uh, once in a while into the, the ranching area, and the ranchers do run cattle up in here. So one of the reasons that the uh, cat, he's not really a cat hunter. I mean, he doesn't, like, kill them, but he pushes them back deeper into the forest so that they're not interfering with the cattle too much. We've actually heard cat up here. There we are just cruising along. Heading up, it's always easier to go up the mountain than down. But look at that rut. It's pretty, pretty rough. Be hard to go up in a truck, but I imagine a few trucks get up this way. But it was a, a beautiful fall day, still warm. There's more remnants. You can really appreciate these forests firefighters what they have to do to go and try they try to cut down those bigger trees so that they don't um you know shoot up embers there you can see the trees that were scorched they're starting to die off and it went on up this whole little area all right now we're getting up deeper into the forest or into the mountains
gets real pretty, uh, the view behind us when we get further up in here. And I'll show you some of that. Just keep watching, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you look up ahead on the um, on the left, there's like a, a, a jetting out of a, a big white rock. I thought that was pretty interesting. We do get closer to that. And I thought maybe it was some kind of special rock, but I think the light was just hitting it in a certain way. There have been some mining claims up in this area too. Uh, we saw some remnants of, of mining as well. Now you can see it's really getting rough. This little machine we've got takes us up there pretty nicely though. Some special effects. I don't know how my camera did that. I didn't do that. It just happened. It was starting to get late in the day because we didn't go up here till way late in the afternoon. A lot of the underbrush and stuff is starting to turn. It's real pretty up there. There, there's that view. That's Ruby Valley. There we go. As you like, this is like fast forward. There's that big white rock I was talking about. Yeah, that's pretty. Well, on our way down, we we saw some. I think it was probably those same mule deers, and I I think I got some shots of them running alongside of us. So that was kind of fun. So that's the Axis 700. It really it cruises up the the mountainside good. Um, the only problem with it is there's no compression to the brakes, and we uh, are trying to get that figured out. We thought maybe it was just a lack of brake fluid, but it seems as though, uh, well, we put we filled it with brake fluid, and still it was a little touch and go because there's really no brakes. So Mike had to use the the shifting the gears to um, control the speed. So we probably won't be going way up into the mountains until we get that problem figured out. We've only had this a few weeks. So we're up in the Tobacco Root Mountains, about 10 miles up, and uh, it's starting to get a little bit, well, the sun's going down, so it's time for us to head back. But I just wanted you to be able to see what the uh, burn looked like. You can see how hard the forest fighters must have worked to cut down and try to stop it. And they did do an amazing job. But check out this view. That's Ruby Valley. But anyway, it's beautiful up here.
it, it is a little bit loud in that machine so we do wear uh, ear protection but you can see this is uh, definitely cat country now we uh, uh, spotted those mule deer again I slowed this down but it was pretty cool because they were running alongside of us Makes for an exciting ride. Well, we did make it down to the end. There's something up ahead. Yep. It's just a cow. They're still running cattle up in here. But we're about down to the bottom now.
Well, this kind of gives you an idea of what it's like up in the foothills of tobacco roots. This is the west side of the tobacco roots. Pretty famous mountain range. Huge mountain range, actually. Lucky just loves riding along. Yeah, well, sometimes he gets a little tired. <laughs> but he's always watching. Always looking. We saw those antelope again on our way back. Thanks for watching Travels with Lucky. If you haven't subscribed, we appreciate your uh, subscribing. That helps Lucky's channel. And until next time, have some great adventures.